This is Artifacts of Mars. And Obama flew down to the Everglades, bringing up, there's like over $800,000 worth in fuel. And then there were other uh, expenses, so it cost him over us, not him, us, over a million dollars. And then he went down to the Everglades to say, can't deny global warming anymore. That got me angry. So, we're going to open up a new uh, playlist, and the playlist, predictably, is going to be named Global Warming is Neither. This guy got me pissed, alright? First of all, I don't even think he's eligible to be president. But then he turns around, burns up all this fuel, uh, incurs all these expenses on our tab, and turns around and lectures us about global warming. I don't think so. So, uh, we're going to uh, start looking at some stories the story I've been trying to find has been on the British tabloids is that uh, we're maybe headed for a new mo modern minimum. This is uh, Ice Age Now dot info. It's run by a man named Robert Felix. We'll take a look at one link. I don't have a lot of time here. This guy's on coast to coast frequently. I like him. He does real science and he's saying we're headed for an ice age and after these last two uh, winners I believe him. Well, Obama had the audacity to say that 2014 was the hottest year on record. I almost gagged. He froze to freaking death. 2014. Really wasn't any decent summer or anything. I don't really like it hot. I don't care if it's a little cool in summer. But it goes to show you that things are cooling off. Now I'm going to explain this to you, Libs. I'm going to make this real simple because i got to make this fast. Only thing we're concerned with here is rates of heat transfer. Heat transfer in comes from the sun, from geothermal, and yes, a little bit from uh, man's activities. Heat transfer out, well, that occurs by radiation and convection. I said convection. The reason I say that is... most efficient form of heat transfer is convection, not radiation. Conduction really doesn't matter too much with the gases. Uh, so we have two things. We have convection and conduction. Convection and radiation. Of the two, convection is more efficient. So let me explain this to you. The Earth's atmosphere is turbulent. Heat from the surface works its way up to the outer regions where it's radiated out into space. It works its way up by convection, people. Uh, you know, fan blowing across a pot of water, that's convection. <laughs> this is why most of your heating systems are convection systems, it's because it's the most efficient system there is. But the libs will never tell you this. The libs will tell you 
Oh, we're gonna fry, we're gonna fry. No, we're not. But the thing is, it's been on tabloids and that, and other sites that apparently we're approaching what is known as a wander minimum. And what's going to happen is the rate of heat transfer coming into the Earth is going to drop. And when that drops, there's going to be less heat to radiate out, so eventually the other will drop off and the heat headed out. But these so-called climate scientists are just out and out, flat out liars. It's like I said, the Earth's atmosphere is very turbulent. It's constantly, the air is constantly moving around. Moves up to the upper regions where there's very little CO2. You start getting towards the ozone layer and all that. And then it radiates out. So CO2 is actually not going to have any hardly any effect at all. These people are just flat out liars. Mr. Obama, sir, you are a liar and I'm calling you out. Uh, Mr. Gore, sir, you are a liar and I'm calling you out. Uh, Mr. Bill Nye, sir, you are a liar and I'm calling you out. You people are liars. Nothing more. There's very little that we can do uh, to change anything. The climate has always fluctuated and will continue to fluctuate. That's the bottom line. Most of the heat probably leaves the lower layer by convection, not conduction. And convection is not affected by CO2. It's going to work its way up to the upper levels of the atmosphere where it will be radiated out into space. They don't tell you this. They don't mention the fact, this uh, little factoid about convection. So get it straight, Libs. Uh, the Earth is not going to fry. In fact, it's headed the other way. Get ready for the nastiest winter you've ever seen in all likelihood. They keep telling us how warm it is and it's getting colder and colder. It's just lies. It's all double speak. It's pure, unadulterated balderdash. Mr. Obama, I'm calling you a liar and I'm calling you out. Same thing, Mr. Gore, Mr. Bill Nye, and the rest of these dim-witted jerks. We're saying that we are going to fry. No, we're not. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I have to go. Thank you for watching.